Right now, an army of volunteers is delivering food, water, and clothing to shelters to help people. And tonight, a woman from Tampa is feeling relieved. She said she finally heard back from all her loved ones caught in those wildfires of Maui. But as 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio shares, it's only the start of a long road to recovery. Inside this Temple Terrace gym, together we are Ohana. A piece of Hawaii lives. It took some time trying to figure out my logo. Kui Hafoka Bareno makes that clear. I didn't even want to capture just the Aloha spirit. I wanted to capture Aloha in general. But lately, that Aloha spirit is low. My aunts and uncles lost everything. My auntie is going back to nothing. Like many others, she says the wildfires in Maui wiped out their homes. It wasn't until Friday night she found out her aunts, uncles, and cousins it was, were safe. That was hard. She didn't know if she'd ever see them again. These are kids. Kui says heartbroken is an understatement. These are just like business attire clothes. But the work to rebuild. On top of that, we have a ton of shoes. Must start. Kui is collecting supplies to ship. Just humble. It's so humbling. For anyone in need, especially her loved ones. To us, a cousin is another brother. It's another sister. It's a whole tribe. It's a community. The island of Maui may never be the same. It's not just homes, but centuries of history lost in days. This was my island, and it still is, just because I'm here in Temple Terrace. But Kui believes that Aloha spirits will thrive again with help from the rest of the world. Miracles can happen. In Temple Terrace, Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. And there are several ways you can help the people of Hawaii, including efforts by Kui. We have links to places you can donate right now on 10tampabay.com.